I do not have good news about Elsie though. Uh, Elsie has been a very naughty bean. I had a I had a heart attack like last week. I was like, <gasps> I can't believe this happened. All right, I'll, I'll tell it. Okay, so we let Elsie outside, which is not unusual. We do that every day, so she can go potty because she wanted to go potty. And then me and Aaron are sitting on the couch. We're watching like live streams because we usually watch Twitch in our free time. And I'm like, hey, Aaron, is Elsie back? And he's like, no, I'm gonna go check on her. So he gets up. It's been 10 minutes. She's been outside for 10 minutes. That's not unusual. You know, sometimes dogs go up back. We have neighbor dogs that come up to the fence and sniff. So then they might run up and along the fence together, you know, playing. It's super cute. And then Aaron comes back in and he's like, I, I can't find Elsie. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't find Elsie? And I we start to kind of freak out. So I'm looking around the house because I'm like, well, did we let her in and we forgot? And he's looking outside. And then we swap. So he's looking inside and then I'm looking outside. Ah! I'm telling a story. No throw. Mm, no throw. And so I'm looking outside and I'm, I look in the garden. No dog. I look along the fence. I'm like, hey, there's holes. Ah! Do you want a story or not? Yeah. And I'm looking along the fence because I'm like, okay, there has to be holes. There's got to be holes. There's no holes. I can't find any holes. There's nothing. There's nothing my large dog could fit through. Maybe my cat, Monty, could definitely fit through some of these holes. But dog? No, 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 no. I look behind the shed. I look in the shed. I look underneath the shed because there's a tiny crack which a cat could fit. A dog could fit. No, definitely not. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And, you know, I, I, our dog's gone. Just, just gone. She's not anywhere and there's no holes there's no way she could have gotten out and i'm like oh no did someone open my gate and just let her out did someone steal my dog like i couldn't there's no way she could get out there's no way so we start scouring the streets mind you she's been gone for 10 minutes that's it 10 minutes i start running to every neighbor knocking on the door you know i'm, I'm apologizing I'm like i'm sorry to bug you because it's probably like eight or nine so it's starting to get dark and it's kind of weird to have someone knock at your door like eight or nine. <sighs> oh, thank you for the hydrate. Uh, I was freaking out so much. And as I'm knocking on doors, I see Aaron open up the garage door and he takes off in the car so he can drive around. We do go to the park because I'm like, okay, if she got out, the she must have gone to the park. Because we take her to the park, that's a place she knows. She's not at the park. Uh, so as I'm going door to door, Aaron finally drives back. I'm like, oh, I better go talk to him. Like, I just talked to like the third or fourth neighbor at this point. And so I run back and Aaron's like, I found her. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Apparently she had ran around the block and she had ran up to some neighbors who were sitting outside and they had took her in because they're like, oh, we're going to call animal shelter in the morning. Which I'm thankful for, for having nice neighbors. Uh, the neighbors actually flagged down Aaron when they saw him driving up and down calling for the dog. <laughs> <sighs> so we found her. She came home. We brought her back in. We loved on her. We're like, oh my gosh, we missed you. Because I had such horrible thoughts going through my head. Because I'm like, oh no. My dog got out. I'm never going to see her again. This, uh, I went through crisis mode. But I was so happy to have her back. And then Aaron tells me, you know what, we gotta find out how she got out, you know. And I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Because I'm like, what if she gets out again and we have to, like, chase her and we never find her again. It's just, I, I was having a heart attack. But we did it. We brought her in the backyard. I stood with her. Aaron went out to the front yard. And he started calling for her because she must have gotten out. Sure enough, she runs to the gate. She shoves on it as hard as she can. And it manages to make a gap big enough for her to squeeze out. Who taught her to push on the gate? I can't even push on the gate to get out. I couldn't repeat what she did. She is so much stronger than me. She shoved on it and squeezed out. <sighs> so we got some straps and we, pull, we put it through the wood and we strapped it to a pole. So she can't push on it anymore. It will not... It will not bend that corner of the gate. All I can think of is that we have... We have neighborhood cats. Like, feral cats. Like, 
unfriendly, never been around a human in their lifetime kind of cats. Elsie loves cats. She loves cats. She doesn't want to like chase or hurt them. She wants to be around cats. She's absolutely a cat dog. <laughs> Instead of being a border collie that, uh, you know, herds sheep, she herds cats. <laughs> Cats are her favorite. So I'm gonna assume there was probably a cat in our yard and she must have chased it and then just magically pushed through the gate to follow it. Cause she loves cats. I'm just assuming it was a cat. Either way, I got we got our dog back. She is microchipped, so if you know if someone found her and they took her to like a vet, she would have been brought back to us. It was upsetting that she didn't have her collar on. Now she's wearing her collar 24-7. It's not coming off. <laughs> Nope, nope, I want my dog returned. Ah, well, that was my crisis this week. <laughs>